What's up guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week is super exciting because we're making James's wedding cake! Yes! I'm gonna build a half red velvet cake, half chocolate carrot cake, and finish it with brown butter, cream cheese frosting, and beautiful succulents. Let's do it! All right, we're gonna start by breaking down a six inch red velvet cake. So Joshua, how'd you uh, decide on these flavors? Um, James, you and Rochelle decided on these flavors. <laughs> Although I think Rochelle probably didn't have much of a say in it. She trusted me. By the way, if you want these recipes, they're in the eye or they're in the description box. And while you're down there, hit subscribe, because they are amazing. James approved. If he's feeding to all of his family and friends, although most of them will probably be drunk. All right, I'm gonna clean up my crumbs and then we'll fill with this guy. I'm gonna fill the cake with brown butter cream cheese frosting. This stuff will literally change your life. First trip to the cooler, then we'll cut the sides, crumb coat it, final coat it. We're gonna make some succulents for James's wedding cake. We're gonna do them three different ways. We're gonna do one that's wired. Nice. One that's not wired. Cool. And then one that is molded. So Ooh. I'm gonna start with the wired one because it's a little more complicated. Uh, we've got some green gum paste here. We're gonna dust these. So I'm just gonna start with a very light green. A little cornstarch. <laughs> oh, no snow. Snow, please! <laughs> there we go. So these are kind of like making sugar flowers, but you're not gonna roll them that thin because succulents are very thick. So Joshua, people have asked before, how did we meet? How did you and I meet? Yeah. Uh, when I filmed my first craftsy class, I think it was one of your first things, right? It was the second thing I did. And we've been together first. ever since. <laughs> brothers don't shake hands, brothers hug. <laughs> you guys are like my brothers. It's true. Because I have two, I don't have any brothers, I have two sisters. They like hold me down and, what do you call that? <laughs> Give me noogies. <laughs> Freshly noogied. All right, that feels about good. So you can see, much thicker than sugar flowers. That's okay, we're gonna thin them out just a, a little bit anyways. So I'm gonna cut out the smallest guy here first. I'll pop him out. We'll cover this guy up so he doesn't dry out. So we're actually only gonna use two of these little petals first. So I'm gonna cut this off. We're gonna use these two. And then we'll take a Dresden-like tool, make this little detail right in the middle here and then we're gonna wire them. So I'll take this piece of wire and I'll actually curl it, make a little hook on the end. Bend it! Bend it! <laughs> yeah, there's no veining in this, it makes me sad. Then we'll dip it in a little bit of either flour glue or pasteurized egg white. I have flour glue here. And we'll just slide this guy right on the wire. I'll allow those to dry completely, like through the magic of television right here. And then we'll wire them together so that becomes the center of the succulent. We'll build the rest of the succulent on top of this. Okay, so now we'll bring our paste back and I'm gonna cut out two of each of these. So you wanna tell them how you came up with this design? Uh, I actually drew out three different designs for you guys. And then James and Rochelle picked the one they wanted. They actually picked the one I really wanted to make too. Which was, I mean, I wanted to make all of them, but it was like, I especially wanted to make that one. So. I was surprised you did the monster truck with flames coming out of it. <laughs> that was one of the options, Frank the Tank. I'm sure Rochelle would have loved that. I should have done that as a joke. Like, beautiful wedding cake, beautiful. Frank the Tank? Can't get rid of him. All right, so we're gonna start with the largest ones here, and I'm gonna do it the same way, kind of taking my ball tool, making this little detail. That little detail with the Dresden tool. After this, I'm probably not gonna make succulents for a while, just so you know, because <laughs> I made so many for the wedding cake. They were fun, but I'm over it. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. All right, now we're gonna glue these guys together while we work on the other one. So I'm just gonna put some glue right in the middle, and then we'll go in between like that. Now we gotta do the same thing to the other four. All right, so now we're gonna put the whole thing together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue inside here. A little glue on the edge of this. And we're just gonna feed this guy through. Like so. 
I'm gonna leave that to dry overnight. The next segment I'm gonna make, I'm actually gonna use calyx cutters. And I got this idea from a friend of mine named Nicholas Lodge, who actually taught me how to make all sugar flowers. Can we put his tutorial in the eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's in the eye or in the description box below, and he shows you how to make lots of different succulents with cutters that you probably already have. It's an awesome class. We're gonna start with the large ones. We're just gonna take a Dresden tool and go right down the center. James, how did you and Rochelle meet, actually? Her sister was dating a friend of mine, and they were all at an all-night diner at the, in the college town we went, and I showed up and started putting on my smoothest moves. <laughs> Which were? <laughs> I was like, hey, that was it. <laughs> Whoa, now I know why you guys are together. <laughs> I said someday I was gonna work on a television show about making cakes. That sealed the deal. That sort of sealed it. So man about cakes, the reason you're getting married. <laughs> Before the end of the night, we were holding hands. I love love. This is so cool. I have a center for this too. Uh, why is it frozen? So I put the gum paste in there and then put it in the freezer and it'll pop out easily like this, see? How easy is that? With calyx cutters. Little snow. Snow! We're gonna cover the cake panel style. I'm gonna start with the top. All the tops of the cakes are gonna be this like navy royal blue-ish. And I've got my spacing band so it's even thickness. And then once I roll it out, I'm gonna put it on a sheet pan and get it in the fridge and let it firm up and then put it on to the cake. Makes it way easier. How come you're not wearing a fancy shirt with words on it? I know, right? This is like the most important cake and I don't have a fun shirt on. I had a fun shirt that I ripped a hole in. So you get yoga clothes. <laughs> All right. We get this panel in the fridge and we'll let them firm up and we'll put them on the cake. All right, for the sides of the cake, I'm actually gonna do a marble panel. So I have a little white and I have a little gray. I'm gonna add some navy blue to the white, get that twisted up, and I'm gonna twist all of it up and then we'll roll it out. Look at that. All right, that looks really cool. All right, so I'm gonna trim a really nice straight edge, like so, and then we're gonna lift up. Now we'll trim the top, and I'm actually gonna use a little piece of texture mat <laughs> to make sure I don't mess up my blue. All right, now I'm gonna panel the rest of my tiers and we'll do some piping. Two of the tiers, I'm actually gonna pipe a geometric pattern with rural icing. Now it's time to stack the tears together with bubble tea straws. I'm actually not even delivering this cake and I can't even go to the wedding. But Brandon's going to the wedding and he's gonna to put together a bonus video from his point of view. So it's up there in the eye or down there in the description box. Brandon, what are you gonna do? Should I be nervous? I'm gonna definitely include all the bathroom breaks. <laughs> It should be said, Brandon was going to the wedding anyhow. We're not like making him work at the wedding. We're friends. In our wedding program, it has a link to the channel so people can watch it. Oh, nice. My mother-in-law is a giant Man About Cake fan. Is she really? Hi, Pat. Thank you for watching the show. My mom doesn't even know there's a show. Now we're gonna paint gold and put on our succulents. I think she looks cool. I rolled out a long strip of gum paste and now I'm using a ruler to cut bands for my marble tears. Now I'm gonna attach my ribbons using piping gel.
And now I'm gonna pipe a pearl border around the bottom of each tier. Now that all of my royal is dry, I'm gonna paint it gold. I've got all my succulents dipped in safety seal so that they're food safe, and I'm gonna add them to the cake. James's wedding cake is complete. What do you think, James? I love it, dude. It came out really cool. You'll have to tell me what Rochelle thought of it. Oh, I will. And guys, don't forget, Brandon is actually gonna be at the wedding doing a video that you guys can get from the description box below so you can see the cake on display. Let's cut her. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Join us next week. We're gonna make a crying onion cake. It's gonna be so cute. Bye, guys. All right, this is episode four, my wedding cake. Take one.